Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about vital sex, tantric sex and the topic for this video is create emotional safety. This is one of the core most important aspects about tantric sex and connecting, connecting tantrically with your partner. It is the idea of emotional safety. I'm going to share with you why it is important and how to achieve it. Imagine that you're connecting with this lover and the evening is fantastic. You know, you have this great connection. Sex is juicy, it's intense, it's beautiful. You feel this heart opening experience. And then the following day, you are still together. And then either you or the other person gets triggered about something and you enter into a big fight, to a big argument. It's not a deal breaker, but you feel like this huge tension and this huge charge. The following evening, you're together and uh, you know you start reconnecting, but you feel an energetic emotional distance. And then you, you really wonder what's going on. Why is it that you're not connecting the way you connected the night before? Well, the reason is simple. It's because you no longer feel safe. Because there was an argument and a fight where you started projecting attacks on each other, maybe, you know, judgments or criticism or emotional intensity or emotional threat. Then when you start engaging into tantric sex again together, you know, you have this charge in the background, these undigested emotions that started accumulating and stay there in the field of your tantric exchange. The moment you start engaging sexually, this energy will be there, of course. And so that creates, a, you know, a strong sense of unsafety and vulnerability. So the idea of <clears throat> the example of having a fight after having sex, maybe you can check in your own life, Try to remember how it feels. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good at all. Because you spend all this time and energy building up, you know, connection and pleasure and trust and love, you know, opening your heart and then poof, suddenly you enter into the shadow. So having some shadows and having some conflicts, having some fights and having some triggers, sometimes disagreements, you know, that's part of life, of course. Sometimes it's, they are just going to appear. But when you engage into tantric sex, it's very, very important to keep that in check. Otherwise, either you or your partner are going to shut down and not necessarily open to the same extent as they would if they were feeling emotionally safe. So when we talk about emotional safety, we are talking about keeping your shadows in check. The shadows are all these aspects of your personality that are you know, a little bit dangerous, that sometimes you are not too proud of. It might involve betrayal, it might involve lies, it might involve emotional instability. If you go back to my website, vitalcoaching.com, there is a, a whole channel there on vital shadows with more than 300 articles that go in detail about all these frames and mindsets and how to master your shadows. So I'm not going to dive into them right there, but I'm going to give you some examples of shadows, of triggers and danger, dangers that might alter or cut through the trust that you're building with your partner. So the first one is the one that I mentioned already. When you are having a fight with somebody, it's an emotional attack, right? You are emotionally attacking each other, sometimes judging, sometimes criticizing, sometimes being resentful. There is lots of emotional load there. So that's one example. Another example is uh, mood swings, you know, changing directions all the time. You might be in a happy mood and then suddenly somebody says something to you and the mood changes. So these uh, sudden mood swings are not going to create emotional safety in your partner because it, it tells them that you are, um, that they are on, on a very unstable emotional ground. So whether this is happening to you or to your partner, have a check, you know, keep it in check. Realize that you can commit yourself 
while you engage into this tantric exploration to a month or a few weeks of being extremely focused and extremely aware of the emergence of your shadows and committing yourself to be in a positive line of energy. Another example of shadows that can emerge are betrayal, lies. You know, your partner telling you that they are doing something when they are not, telling you they have a certain intention when they don't, uh, telling you that they are not only in touch with their ex when in fact they are. You know, things that have to do with uh, sexual or romantic betrayal are there, but lies can come in many forms, you know, in the forms of intentions, in the forms of what you share or what you don't share. So that's something to, to keep in check as well. Another one which is very uh, tricky to navigate is integrity gap. For instance, if you commit yourself to have a uh, tantric sex date on, on Thursday at 6 o'clock and you don't show up until 8 because you were at the pub drinking beer with your friends, that of course is going to create a feeling of betrayal and uh, a feeling of unreliability. So those are the, ne the negatives, they are the shadows. Now if we check the opposite behaviors, the ones that will bring security, those are what I call the vital lights. Uh, you have uh, qualities like trust, you know, building trust and trusting your partner. You can repeat that when you say to your partner, I trust you and uh, give that gift also to your, to, your, to your partner or to your lover. The second one quality is the quality of love. Of course, you know, we are talking about tantric sex here, so of course it's going to be one of the core aspects, core qualities that you want to have in your relationship. Another one is respect. What does respect mean? It means that when you are faced with differences or differences of opinion or expressions or something like that, you accept the fact that these differences are there. Okay, it's a very simple pattern. Another light that will really create safety in your couple is clarity. Express things with clarity. Uh, it's a very, you know, a very simple one. You can be clear in the way you communicate, in the way you touch, in the way you express yourself in your intentions as well. Another one is openness. If you're trying to connect energetically with a lover and that person is shutting down, they are not energetically or emotionally available, of course, it's going to be difficult to open up yourself. So it creates this kind of withdrawal, energetic withdrawal, that uh, is not going to be conductive to create a deep connection and intimacy that you want to have in the tantric sex context. Another important light is loyalty. So um, I'm going to talk about that in another video to, to really have a deep check about this. The idea of being exclusive in an exclusive relationship, it means that you are having sex with just one partner or being in an open relationship when you're engaging in tantric sex. So for many, many people, the idea of being exclusive sexually is very important. It's still the norm for 95% of people on this planet. There are maybe 5% who are comfortable with the, the idea of polyamory, but in most uh, spheres of society and on this planet, the model of being um, in a position where you are just with one partner, one sexual partner, one lover, one uh, yeah, one person with who you are going to engage romantically, sensually, sexually, is still the norm for probably 90 to 95 percent of people on this planet. So what this means is the idea of loyalty is very present. And again, this has to do with boundaries. You know, many people that I know would be very comfortable with not being exclusive in sexually exclusive relationships, but it's something that you need to check and experience um, uh, exactly what kind of boundaries you want to have in your tantric sex space with your partner. So this is the idea. Keep this one in mind. Create emotional safety. It's probably unreadable, but you get the idea. I'll see you soon.